Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more Las Vegas Misfit. Oh my gosh, Misfits Athletics franchise. Couple, we're just a year late on that. Okay, some athletics relocation rebuild, and we are going to be taking on the asterisks. I don't care how long it's been, I'm still calling them that. That is right. We are going to, uh, we've definitely pissed the bed. We are 50 and 52. Last episode, uh, we had a much better record than that. Uh, we're two and eight in our last 10, so we've really hit a slump. Um, so yeah, we, we gotta be better. We definitely gotta be better. Still in the race, though. Uh, not really for the division, but uh, for the wild card, five games out. So uh, there is a chance. Also, uh, a good amount of transactions. Before I get to them, let's shoot for uh, 200 likes. Smash that like button. Show that love and support. Subscribe. Join the Dorsal Fam. Don't forget to ring that bell and follow us on Twitch, even though I haven't streamed on there in months. But go ahead anyway. Um, let's go to athletics. So, yes... Uh, we also got Kyle Lewis, who's a free agent. We needed the depth in the minors, and he was like a B potential, I think, still. So I was like, eh, why not? Um, but yeah, if you guys want to look at who we've re-signed, go ahead, take a look. JD Martinez, uh, you know, he still sims well, even though he's old. He still has great attributes. So yeah, all these guys, a lot of these are depth re-signs, and, you know, they're easy to trade if need be. Um... Also, I'm trying to look for, these are all, ba, ba, ba. let me see, like, trades and stuff like that. Because uh, there have been some trades, so we know about the Harold Ramirez. We acquired uh, Luis Patino for Sean Newcomb, Gerardo Reyes, and Trevor Gott. We also got Liam Hendricks for Alex Wood. Uh, Wood was doing absolutely awful. And we got Adrian Morjan. I hope I said his name right for JJ Blade. So the bullpen definitely needed some strength. So uh, this is what our bullpen looks like now. He was a free agent, uh, Cody Hewer. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, and uh, but yeah, bullpen looks a little bit better. This uh, guy was actually our closer because, like I said, I want to develop a young closer. That's something I really want to do. I really enjoy doing that in franchise, but. He wasn't panning out, so we put Liam Hendricks at closer. He does have three blown saves, but I don't think he's been the closer. He's been more of a setup man. But um, Mason Miller's back in the rotation. I did a edit. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible uh, so we can get into the game. But um, So basically, I switched his position to starter and... I'm trying to remember how it was done. Hold on one sec. <laughs> okay, so I put up a post on a forum um, on, like, how to do that. Like, the best way to convert starters to relievers, relievers to starters. And this is what someone said, uh, how they do it. So, to change them, you got to determine their new stamina. So, I went with, like, 65, right? I think that's, like, a good starting point for stamina and you know if it goes up great if it doesn't okay and basically adjust the clutch and per nine attributes until they are back to their original overall so if mason miller was a 75 overall which i think he was at the time when he was a reliever when we switch him to starter uh after changing his overall we would basically rebalance his overall to so it wasn't because i think usually it's better, even no matter what their stamina is. So, so yeah. But so that's basically how it worked out for us. Uh, I hope I explained that well. Probably not. But let's go ahead and just get on into today's game and see what we can do. How about a uh, Ruiz getting sent down IRL after putting up pretty solid? No oh, I forgot to mention Jacob Wilson is making his uh his. MLB debut, our A potential. Our, we've just had an awful infield. Uh, Nick Allen has not been good in the infield. I think he's batting like barely over 200, 213. So he's a great fielder, though. But we got to go with Jacob Wilson. It was time to call him up. I want to see what he's got. And yeah, I actually did try messing with the uh, dimensions. I was going to move the fence back a bit. But I was having all these issues with the, the seats and the... Like, being cl too close to the field, even though they really weren't. So I figured, whatever. Here's our top prospects, if anyone wants to take a look. Um, I mean, it's really not that strong. I really want to call up 
Lawrence Butler, even though he's not really a top prospect anymore because he has played. 28th ranked farm system. It's a Andujar. And he's there. One gone. Oh, yeah, for all stars, I forgot to show who were the all stars. Um, trying to remember myself who they were. I think it was JD Martinez, JP Sears. I want to say that was, there might have been one more, but I can't recall who it was. I really do not know. If I see them, I might remember. Grounder to Noda. And he's there. We will go to the bottom of the first beautiful one, two, three inning by Miller. Ah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. One gone. Also, I did change the sliders in both franchise modes because I feel like the hitting was way too easy. So these are my sliders now. I found them in the vault. Um, I actually don't mind them. I think they're actually pretty solid. So, yeah, this is them. J.D. Davis hits this one not too well out to right. And he'll be caught by Tucker. Two gone. Here's Harold Ramirez. I think he's going to be a great player for us during this rebuild. I mean, we're kind of... I mean, we're, we are 50 and 52 right now, but we're in the hunt. I mean, we're not out of the race. And we were definitely in the race before we've just started slumping. But if we can pick it back up, we can definitely get back in it. But yeah, again, I've been trying to be a little, like, I'm okay with making trades, making moves. I obviously don't want to make too many, but I feel like the moves I've made haven't been, like, like, I guess Liam Hendricks and Harold Ramirez were the biggest names we've acquired. But, you know, you don't see me going out and picking up, you know, Gunnar Henderson or Mike Trout or Ronald Acuna, you know, <laughs> like Jackson Holiday, um, a Caminero on the Rays. Like, I'm pretty much just getting like if i do acquire prospects that are good that was an awful pitch to go after they're they're not like um like they might be top 100 but they're not like the big big names like i was gonna get xavier isaac but i felt like that was kind of too cheap to go after him but i definitely uh want to i i hope that we start to get some uh some solid prospects soon did he go? I don't think he did. Ball four. Oh, that's gone. Yep. Well out of here. All right. Nice try. Two gone. Nice try. We will go to the bottom of the second, and hopefully we can get some uh, some runs back. Nice contact swing. That will get down the line for a knock. J.D. Martinez is on to lead off the inning. Oh, jeez. Oh, I should not have done this, should I? Actually, we should be in. We just got in. Zach Geloff has definitely been cold, but he's going to hit this in the center. That should bring in Martinez, definitely. And, yep, he's in. Two to one. There we go. Geloff has been... Ice cold. I mean, he has not been good lately. And here is Jacob Wilson in his major league debut. That's going to bloop in. It's not going to be the prettiest of hits, but it's going to be his first career hit in the big leagues. First of many for Jacob Wilson, hopefully. There it is. Good stuff. Didn't bring in a run, but that's okay. It's corners with one away. Go 3-1. Yeah, I know he doesn't have the best clutch on Duhar, so I would definitely take a walk here. Uh, nice. Okay. I had a swing at it. It was a good pitch. 2-2 two -two now. Oh, the curve got me. All right, two gone. Uh, no, 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 go. It's not going to matter. Though. That'll be caught. But, hey, we tied up the game. It is 2-2 two -two now. It's a brand new ball game back to 0 0. We will go to the third. Grounder to Wilson. I believe that's going to be his first play of the game. There we go. One away. Ooh, that's hit well. But it's hit hard. So I don't know if he's going to get. Uh, well, now he will because that was an awful throw. 
I think he was in there anyway. Oh, we got him. All right, two gone. Geloff. Oh, and he botches it. And everyone's going to be safe. That's going to be a E4. And ball four to Altuve. The bases will be juiced with two gone. And Wilson will beat Altuve to the bag. Who saved the inning there. Get out of the big jam. We'll go to the bottom of the third. 2-2 two, two will remain the score. But I like this team. Like, I really, really like this team. I know we don't have the best team. You know, like, our best players probably J.D. Martinez, Geloff. And then it's, like, J.D. Martinez, who's somehow doing well. Um, and then we got... Or did I say J.D. Martinez or J.D. Davis? I don't remember what I said. But J.D. Davis. Uh, and then we got Harold Ramirez. Like, we don't really have the big, big superstars. But, I mean, it's like Moneyball. It's pretty much what it is. But that's going to be a double play, I'm sure. Unless we get an error, which we will not. Nice. All right. I do feel like there's more walks though with these sliders which i like so i felt like the computer was very good at throwing strikes oh, oh and he botches it i think they're gonna get him still not a whole lot of speed on either going to first or second but we'll go to the fourth score remains at two at peace uh, i don't think on is getting there we have to get that in, and of course it's going to be a bad throw. That was a perfect throw, maybe, but... Alright, that'll probably send him to third. And yeah, he will definitely tag up. So it'll be a runner on third with one away. Uh, that's going to get down, unfortunately. I was debating if I wanted to walk him or not, but... Too late now. I guess I should have. Ruiz. He's got the wheels to get there. There we go. Two gone. To Noda, and he'll just step on the bag. All right, bottom four we go. The Astros do get one. 3 2 is now the score. Nice contact swing and Geloff again. Just going to get a board here. Oh no, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, we probably would have made it, <laughs> of course. Oh, I had to go for that. That is not going to be caught. Get moving, guys. Almost gone. That almost carried out. We're going to hold up at third. I don't think we were going to make that. Oh, man. We probably would have had we been running from the start. But Jacob Wilson gets a double. He's two for two in his major league debut. That's hit deep to center. That should definitely bring home at least one. Well, definitely one. Don't know if I should have. Now nah, we'll be safe. There we go. It'll be a sack fly for Anduhar. It is now tied up again at 3-3. Oh, my gosh. Mm, I know he's got the wheels, but not going to get it. That was my fault. At least we tied it up. Three threes are score now. Nice. <laughs> One away. Wow. A slider that didn't really slide, but two gone. Even though he's getting tired. He is pitching very well this inning. Hit to Martinez. That should do it. And it will. Bottom five we go. That is probably also going to do it for Miller. We are still tied at 3-3. Three, three. Oh my gosh, Shady Davis with a, oh my gosh, I don't know how that got out. Low inside is not something I tend to hit well, but we somehow did. His 15th of the season, 407 to left center field. We take the lead. Now Harold Ramirez hits this to center. I don't think it's going to drop though. It will not. Aside from in his glove. One gone. JD Martinez. Pretty similar to the other hit he had tonight. Down the line. 
It'll be a one-out knock. Martinez is stealing. Well, it'll get us out of the double play, but two gone. Nice hit by Geloff. That is going to land fair. That will should be an RBI double for Geloff, and indeed it will. He's three for three on the day. I'm telling you, this bottom of the order is killing it. Contact swing. It is going to get down. Wilson now three for three on the day in his major league debut. There we go. He is getting it done. Another ribby. And that is going to finally do it for Valdez. I'm surprised they kept him in for this long. Andujar hits this well to center, but it will be caught by McCormick. So we'll go to the sixth. We get the lead. It is six to three now. All right, so that is going to do it for Mason Miller. Kevin Kelly is going to come into the game. I don't know if I would discuss that we traded for him. I don't know if I brought up the trade for him. I can't remember who we traded for him, but... Grounder Geloff has it and one away. Grounder Geloff again. Nice play. Two gone. And now to Ruiz, and it looks like Kevin Kelly is going to have himself a 1-2-3 top half of the sixth. The bottom half we go, 6-3 remains our score. And Soderstrom hits this one deep to right center field. This one is off the top of the wall. It won't be gone. It likes to carry out there, but it won't tonight. At least not for Soderstrom in that at bat. It'll be a leadoff double, though. And now Ruiz. Oh, no, no, no. Why'd he go back? Uh, I must have automatically or accidentally hit R1. I think I did. My bad. All right. Corners. Who knows if he would have made it anyway. He's not very fast. We're sending him, and he drops the ball, so he'll be in standing. That is not going to do us any good. That'll stay in the infield, and it's caught by Altuve. One gone. We'll count to Ramirez. He's only batting 190 with runners in scoring position on the season. But he will draw the walk here. So bases will be loaded for J.D. Martinez. Who better? This is hit to right center. I think we will tag up. This should definitely bring in the run. He'll score easily. The throw in a third. We won't even have a play. It is 7-3 now. Vegas. Oh, I won again. Damn it. I definitely had second stolen there. All right. Sorry, it's 7-3. Kevin Kelly will take the bump. For this inning as well after a very solid six perfect six grounder get off he's been having to make some tough plays tonight one gone davis for the first two gone and now to wilson three straight ground balls this inning we will go to the bottom of the seventh our score is still 7-3. The hot bottom of the order. Well, not the complete bottom, but the 6, 7, and 8 guys do up. And Keloff is going to remain perfect on the night as he'll hit this one into right, and that'll be a leadoff double. And Wilson will remain perfect as well on the day. Not the best clutch or power, but he's going to get it done here. He's getting greedy, and he's thinking about three of the three. No, it's not going to get him the throw in the third. It's not in time. And Wilson is now, I believe, a home run away from the cycle. That's why I wanted to go for it. I figured, why not? I thought I was going to be out, but I actually just beat it. Now, Andujar will hit this out to right center. Tucker makes the catch. He's going to tag up the throw home. We're not even going to have one. It is going to be a 9-3 ball game now. And I think this one 
we got under a bit too much. This will be caught. And that'll be the second out. Ooh, nice hit by Ruiz, but I think this is going to be... No, it's gone! I thought that was going to be caught. Wow! Esteori Ruiz with the solo shot. All right, his eighth of the season. Nah, I got under that too. All right. No worries. Another great inning offensively. We will go to the eighth, and I think Kyle Muller is going to take the bump for us. Hit to right, Andujar is there, one away. And caught by Geloff, two gone. And a great one, two, three inning from Muller. Bottom eight, we go. Three, four, and five, heart of the order, who haven't been the best, are two up. Oh, Harold Ramirez. There we go. He'll get his first hit of the night. He's on with a perfect, perfect missile in the left. And this one is probably... Yep, it's going to be caught. If that fell, that probably would have been an out anyway at second. Oh, Ryan Noda. There we go. He'll do something tonight. That is gone. Alrighty, 12 to 3. These are the athletics I need back. This is what we had in the beginning of the season. And they've been absent the last, like, month. And Geloff is going to remain perfect. Make it 5 for 5 on the day. Now. Needs to get out of that cold streak. Uh, unfortunately, Wilson will not... Remain perfect, but what a MLB debut for Jacob Wilson. Four for five on the day. Home run away from the cycle, I believe. We will go to the ninth. Muller will remain on the mound. Nice. Try. Foul tip caught. One gone. And that is going to get down and left. Seth Brown will make the play. A couple defensive... Uh, Changes made just to give some guys a little bit of a uh, an early night off. Well, that's going to get down. We'll see if we can get him at second. He is. Gun down. Sit down. Uh, I don't think I'm making that play. I'm not going to try it. And there it is. What a win. It was a great game, and then in the fifth, the bats just got incredibly hot. Great debut for Jacob Wilson. Geloff was great. Miller was a little, you know, he had his ups and downs, but 19 hits. I'll take it. That is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.